One of our next guests is an absolute A-list actress. Starred in The Devil Wears Prada, The Girl on the Train, The Edge of Tomorrow, Mary Poppins Returns, you name it, she's been in it. Emily Blunt, now starring in the new Amazon video series The English, which follows an aristocratic English woman on a chase across middle America and a quest for revenge. Take a look. It was like magic. Only this afternoon, you were tied up there. I was lying down over there, both about to get killed, and yet here we are. And it's everyone else that's dead. Someone kill my child, and now I'm gonna kill him. Will you help me? Looks really good. We spoke to Emily Blunt and her co-star Chaske Spencer about the series. Oh my goodness, I can't <laughs> believe we're actually looking at you. You're both so beautiful. Wow! Proper Thank movie you. Stars. It's so strange. We're just we're just looking at a night sky. You look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. We have just played a trailer, so we've, we're getting a sense of what we're about to see on our screens here in New Zealand. But can you just tell us, Emily? Obviously, late eighteen hundreds, old west. Did you get an appreciation for how hard life was back then? I mean, yes, it's not a time I don't think I would have enjoyed living in, and I think it must have been a traumatic, violent time. I think especially for women, you know, I think it just must have been an impossible landscape to try and survive. Um, so, yes, of course, it gave me such an appreciation for it. Help me, please. Can you shoot? If I have to. Oh, you'll have to. I don't know how I'd fare, sort of. Yeah. In real life back then. Yeah. How did you both fear filming wise? Because I know the costumes gave you a fair bit of grief. I mean, there were certain days where we were swathed in so many layers, it yeah. felt sort of torturous. But I think that's part of shooting a Western. You are exposed and sort of assaulted by the elements, and it does help transport you, all the dust and all the heat. Yeah. Um, I think you got sunstroke one day, didn't you? I did. I almost collapsed. Just <laughs> when you were, like, shrouded in your red blanket <laughs> that I worried about you. Towards the end of shooting, it was, I was starting to fade out a little bit. <laughs> Goodness, the fear of <laughs> fading on a shoot like that. Imagine if you like faint and fall off your horse. That would oh, be bad. News. That would be bad, yes. Presumably, there are people with fans and water and catering that are just meters away <laughs> from you. Yes, there was a bit of that. Yes, for sure. Emily, this was a little while ago, but on the topic of dress code, I know there was one uh, awards season at uh, the Cannes Film Festival and there was a dress code with high heels and, and you at the time said, oh, I don't think, you know, we should wear high heels. And on the subject, I guess, of the corsets that you had to wear in this Western too, is there a pressure on Hollywood and outside Hollywood for women in particular to dress a certain way? I mean... I think what's great is actually that there is much more freedom now in how you should dress. I think people are using it as such an exciting form of self-expression. You can shroud yourself in the baggiest clothes in the world if you want, and it will be embraced. So I don't feel we're so much in a world where you have to conform to kind of tight sequins and tight dresses all the time. I think it can be to each their own, and I think it's up to you to decide how you want to play it. And there's also nothing wrong with body conscious dresses that's just as empowering as it is if you want to wear an oversized suit but it's just I do feel we have branched out from conformity with how women should dress I think it I, I think we're in a world where much more is embraced you know we started talking about your names when we when we just spoke to you earlier um Cheske, is that always been your name or have you changed your name through your life I was reading about you this morning and it seems like you might you might have had a different name to begin with Oh, yeah. Um, I was born James Chesquet Spencer III, but uh, most people call me Chesquet. And then when I tried to join SAG under James Spencer, there was already a James Spencer. So I just took the name Chesquet since everyone called Chesquet me that is anyway. so cool. It, it is means cool. Uh, Lakota Sioux. It's firstborn son in Lakota Sioux. There's a lot of Chesquets running around in North and there South. Are... Yeah, there's, that's a pretty common name. It yeah, is. it's like Bob. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like Lakota Sioux for Bob. This is my co-star, Bob Spencer. <laughs> and Emily, it doesn't is quite it... have the same romanticism yeah. to it, does it? With Bob? Not quite. Emily, is it true that you were thinking about changing your name before you got into acting? 
Yeah, I mean, I've sort of like now I realize that it's a good name because it sticks in the head, but it's not the most attractive name, you know. But then I realize like Pitt isn't the best name, but no one associates ugliness with Brad Pitt. So it's like, <laughs> you know, I think I think it's OK to have those those names that stick in the head, you know. Well, you're certainly two names that people are very excited about seeing in the English, and we really appreciate your time. Uh, unfortunately, Thanks. it has come to an end, but it's been wonderful speaking with you both. Thank, oh, thank you guys you. so much. Take care. Bye.